All right, so um, pretty sure I, I to give you a step by step would kind of be uh, redundant because basically, as you can see, it's just a sketch and then an extrusion. So I think what you're asking for is how basically how to pattern this. Now I can show you the way I did it. Um, I've opened up another one over here so I can I can kind of demonstrate this. Uh, if all else fails, if you can't get it to work the way I have it, because I have had people say, hey, uh, I, I've got every dimension and everything looks just like yours, but something's not right. But as we talked about, there sometimes are, um, you know, some of these constraints that you see popping up here that, you know, we don't physically put on there that Onshape automatically puts on there. And if, if these aren't automatically put on yours by Onshape, depending on how you're drawing it, it won't react the same. So uh, I'll show you how I did it. If all else fails, it's, you know, you'll have to sketch all, all of these out without being able to use a linear pattern. But I'm gonna show you the way I did linear pattern. As you can see from like this area right around here, that's basically what I drew right here. Um, you can see that's where all the dimensions are and things like that. And then what I did is once I patterned it, I spaced these two out and then they kind of moved uh, to the positioning that I needed them to go. So let's uh, let's give this a try here. If I go over here, you can see I've got, um, it's not really the spot that I want it, uh, but I don't, I don't think that's gonna make a difference. Yeah, you can see my origins right there on that one. So I don't know if that's gonna make a difference on this. So I can, like I said, I can show you what I did uh, to get this thing to work. So I'm gonna select all of this. I made these a this line right here and this line down at the bottom just a an arbitrary size. They're not exactly the size I would, uh, you know, it, it doesn't matter. You're going to be doing lots of trimming um, up here to get these things to work. So you're going to go linear pattern. You can see it automatically puts up a pattern on here. And I don't want three of them. I want to have a total of four. So I have another one. Then I'm going to grab it like this and move this thing out as straight as I can. Like, uh, let's just put it out here so I know it's straight out like that. And there's my new sketches. See it spaces them apart. And now I should be able to go from here. Yeah, I say I want that four. And see, now it's not working uh, because it took all of those and mixed them all up. Um, oh, now it goes up there. I don't need to have that. Let's see if it'll help us out now. There. Now I moved them all into place. Okay, that's the spot they're supposed to go. So now what I can do is go through and delete and trim uh, a lot of this stuff here. Get a bunch of this stuff out of the way because as you know, it's not going to... Uh, um, so we'll just take a line and extend it there. So do some deleting. You can see out here I've got some stuff to delete, go through. And then when you're done deleting all this stuff, then get your size from here to here, which I think if we go back and we look, yeah, 19.25. So you can see I've got some trimming and stuff to do inside of there to get this thing right. Uh, and then all you do is extrude it. Once you get all this kind of stuff, this junk down here, I guess we'll call it deleted, then get this line over to the size you need it. Then it should fill in with that color. You should be able to extrude it. So that's kind of how that's supposed to go. A little bonus that you got to see me uh, have to troubleshoot and see how it kind of screwed up a little bit. Um, but that's, uh, that's basically um, how, we, how we get that thing to work.